There's no doubt that solar power is one of the cleanest forms of energy. It is renewable and unlike fossil fuels, does not release greenhouse gas. However, one thing that is generally overlooked is that the solar panels have a limited lifespan. So what happens when this lifespan comes to an end? Recycling solar panels is a complex and expensive procedure, but a new Australian research seeks to bring its cost down and reduce the volume of scrap generated in the process. In a paper published by a team from the University of New South Wales, researchers have outlined a process to inspect solar panels and check if it is economically and environmentally feasible to extract valuable elements from them. The process involves collecting solar arrays, stripping them of their aluminium frame, shredding the cells and collecting valuable materials including silver and copper. Once all the stripping and shredding is done, the panels would be reduced to 2% to 3% of their original weight. The reclaimed material would then be purified and processed. The study says that the procedure wouldn't involve any chemicals, it wouldn't emit any pollutants or hazardous materials either, although crushing the panels would produce dust. But the facilities could be equipped with dust collectors. Currently, Australia has very little capacity to process and recycle solar panels. This is being considered as an increasingly pressing problem due to the increasing use of solar panels and proposals for large-scale solar farms. According to data, Australia is projected to generate 145,000 tonnes of solar waste every year by 2030. The leading author of the research paper emphasises on the importance of smaller-scale recycling facilities in the country as they could process material closer to their source, thereby reducing the emissions from transportation. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.